You have sent our sons to Guantanamo Bay. This is an outrage! You Arabs think you can just mix in with our peaceful society and we're not gonna find you, huh? I am not Arab. I am Indian. Look, Chief, I'm not here to argue semantics with you, okay? I'm here to save lives. Ask the least what they know about their son's terrorist activity. Look, we've been American citizens for over 40 years. Now, frankly, I find this very offensive. They're using some sort of dialect I've never heard before. But I'm pretty sure he said something about going on the offensive. Tell them we know what their son is up to, and if they don't cooperate, he could be sentenced to death. Hit him. We know what he said. <sighs> Sir, Harold and Kumar are good boys. I'm a pretty good translator. It's total gibberish. <sighs> they may be trying to stone Wallace. You sure you speak Korean, Jack? Do you speak Korean? You're not fucking with daddy, are you? Do you have a master's in romantic Korean literature? Because I do. And I'm offended. Good enough for me. <sighs> Look, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We're not looking to hurt your sons. We, we just want to know where they are. Do you know if they know anybody in Florida? Their friend, Raza Syed, lives in Miami. But why would they be there? He's supposed to be in medical school. They are supposed to be in prison. That is where terrorists belong. These fuckers are going down. Dead or alive. Tell them that in your fake Ching Chong language. The Oh, shut up, you're an idiot. I don't know what you're saying, buddy. Fuck you. Fuck me. Listen, no, sit down. Fuck me. 